Hey guys, RDMF Jones here. Quick kind of different kind of video today. I have been slowly playing and testing with the cheapest shotgun that I think is on the market right now as far as semi-autos go. Um, it is the Citadel Warthog and is it any good? We will see. Well, I will tell you my first time out with this thing um it was hot garbage um it did not run worth a crap it would not get through a magazine um and then as time went on we were able to uh make it seems like it's working good now so um what you're seeing as far as the footage goes is just some quick video i cut of me i ran 110 rounds through this thing that includes three inch magnums that includes um buckshot that includes high brass low brass there's some real low like super handicap stuff that the manual says it's not even able to run um there's uh several different loads that were put through this thing and here's the thing that it all ran um i had one malfunction in total during this entire range outing after i took the gun apart i cleaned it from the first range outing where i tried to put about i don't know 70 rounds through it and we started having all kinds of issues like it was not running at all and then on top of that the stock bolt completely came off uh the stock was just literally floating in the air so i recommend that if you buy one of these things you carry a socket set with you the first time luckily i have one in my car that i have all the time on me and so essentially with that socket set i was able to find out that it's the 13 millimeter bolt holding it on with two uh uh Phillip screws so it's not a big deal to tighten it up so I tightened it up I didn't over tighten it because I'm concerned that it's uh, going into aluminum and I was really worried but there's like a big old three inch mag it just ate it right up didn't care um so 110 rounds one malfunction in the first try um and after that it just kept running there's real low brass stuff it was high brass stuff and I know the average user of this gun probably is not going to want to shoot buckshot and in all kinds of crazy three inch magnums through it my real question is is if i do some of that but then i come back through and i shoot a bunch of low brass is it going to run the low brass stuff fine and the answer to that question appears to be yes i've not had any malfunctions after i broke the parts in so this gun definitely requires a break-in period you may get it for a really 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 stupid low price and that's great if you do but you better 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 um go ahead and plan on buying some higher brass stuff buying some um more hot loads with it so that that way you can go ahead and um break in the parts uh like tfb tv in their video they went ahead and like ran oh god they ran so many there's some corroded ass three inch magnums that one there is actually deformed like look at that case that that cartridge is like i don't even know that it running a pump gun there's some super low handicap so is that going to work the action enough to get the deformed shell in and then after that we're going to go ahead and run a super high uh hot load and then we're going to run a crusty rusty run and boom there it is boom there it is ran them all out so no problem no issues i'm not having problems with this thing so um like I said, what I would really recommend at this point for the average user or who, who the potential purchaser of this gun would be is to go ahead and budget in at least 100 rounds of low brass, which isn't going to cost you a whole lot at Walmart, and then at least a couple of boxes of some medium level stuff to get it broke in enough that it's going to start running the low brass because it does run the low brass now. Like I have not had, like you can see, these are low brass shells. They're popping right out. They're running good obviously i cleaned it and lubed it do not count on it this is not the gun you go give to your kid to go hunting with right after you uh grab it off the shelf from walmart that is not what this thing is for do not do that 100 percent. do not do that you are not going to have a reliable experience and whoever you give it to is going to suck um couple other little problems I had with it through this first about 150 175 rounds that I put through this gun two made uh one I consider a catastrophic failure and that is that stock bolt coming out that would completely ruin your day luckily I, and depends on how much of a prepared guy you are because I'm telling you right now like I don't know the average person besides me that has a full I mean I, obviously if you're watching this you're probably kind of into preparedness but 
um, has a full uh, socket set with extensions in his car. So uh, I do, and I was able to make that work. But we've got some rusty, crusty ammo. I am putting basically what I've got here, what I'm actually using is the big box of dumbass shells that I had that I think every gun guy gets with shotguns after a while where they just, you know, go hunting and then take the extras and kind of throw them in the thing. Or somebody gives you your cells and you throw in a box. Well, I got a big-ass box of 12-gauge that's just kind of just dumb stuff that never gets shot. And so I was like, well, I'm going to go try to break this thing in and see if it works. You can see there. Now, why am I only loading three? Um, it comes plugged. At least this version did. And to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to change that. Um, I don't really see this as a defensive gun. I don't know that even with this level of reliability, I would trust it with my life. And I have other guns for that. I have, for instance, a um, Mossberg that I really like. And I have... Uh, uh, a couple other pump guns, but as far as semi autos, I have a nice Mossberg, you know, that I, I trust, but not this thing. This thing, I just don't know that I would trust it with my life, but to go take it hunting, I mean, the worst that happens is a duck gets away or like a pheasant gets away or something. I'm okay with that, but I'm not real, uh, whole crazy on the idea of, um, counting on it with my life like i don't know that it's a you know as as some would say a go to war option i'm just not buying that could you do it probably if you really trusted it i know guys like tack them out and do all kinds of stuff to them but to me this is kind of a basic uh backup hunting shotgun or maybe even a stasher shotgun like uh i've got some you know access to some land and there's a cabin down there and with this price and this this level of uh gun i may just like you know stash it somewhere uh, so that I, there's a gun on premises or if I have like a cache I need to put something in this would fit in that role but I primarily see it as like a loner hunting gun um, it has some really nice features it's really light like it's light and it and it doesn't recoil terribly bad like you can tell that that's that's pretty good but again you're gonna have to do some work you can't just count on this thing right out of the box it's definitely not the case bring a socket set with you um, the other thing that did happen with this thing, and this is another thing that I want to talk about is, is that the, and I've not, I've heard of this also happening a couple other places is the trigger group pin started to walk out at around a uh, hundred rounds through it. So it was a simple fix. I just grabbed a, you know, screwdriver and smacked it in there and it worked just fine and it hasn't come out since and it just continues to run. So as far as the reliability goes, I mean, I didn't, I got it so hot I couldn't touch it at one point, but I also got it like there where it's kind of warm. So like here you're seeing some low brass. I believe that's buckshot and then um, some other stuff that goes in there. I ran uh, buckshot. I ran um, pheasant loads. I ran a bunch of low brass and then I also ran about 10 or 15 three inch magnums now i don't know that i'd give it a study diet of three three inch magnums but it certainly seemed to run them once i was able to get this thing broke in so anyway if you like this kind of stuff i don't care you want to subscribe i don't care because i don't do any of this for you i do it for me thank you